you'll be concerned as soon as season seven starts as well. It's, it's, it's cause for concern, certainly. <laughs> it's surprising I'm here today. But you know what it really is? What it really is, is, is that you realize when you're watching him enter any set of circumstances, is he's fine, he's okay if it doesn't end up okay. He really is, he's okay with that. He's prepared for that. If it's not going to end up, you know, if everything's going to go south, he's prepared and, he, you know, I, I mean, he'd be a fool not to be expecting it. One's expectations or preconceptions about what could, could transpire are dire. The season ended last year in crisis, and, it, and the season opens this year in, in some ways, even worse crisis. And you're never quite sure on our show what your firm footing is or if there is any firm footing. Hopefully, we allow the viewers to sometimes get comfortable enough just to sort of take a breath, but that um, if they're invested in the show, like our, our audience has been very dedicatedly, that they know already that if they become comfortable in thinking they know what they know, that can turn out to be a, a grave error in judgment. <laughs> When we started the show, the landscape and the geography for the show in terms of its story, in terms of the, how things would unfold, was very, very broad. And, and, and there was the, the circuitous route were big, sweeping curves. And, so, and those have tightened, and things have become more restricted and constricted. Uh, and... Um, and so the stakes are different. The lovely thing for me about the show is that within that tightness and that feeling of, um, that, that feeling of tension, uh, Reddington is still, is still at his pace and he still has a looseness about him, I think because of how he's been living for so long and what his preconceptions or expectations are for his life, which are nil. I love the dichotomy of tone that I saw immediately. As soon as I read the pilot, I knew that this was, could be that the tone of the show was very fluid and therefore it wasn't just going to be a straight ahead procedural or drama or it wasn't going to be just you know comedy or you know it was done it really was a mix of all those things and that we were going to play be able to play with all that and the geography was huge and that we could take story in any direction we wanted to go in and you know by the way you know no matter what you can take the show in any direction you want to go in i mean you really can with the with the premise that we have in this show, you can go in really any direction you care to. So when I read the pilot for the very first time, I realized we can shift gears so quickly on the show. And, and so it sustains your interest and curiosity. It's the reason why the show, you know, I think has sustained, is that it, you can live with it for a long time. I think he feels that specter in a way that is different than how he's felt it before. And maybe because of the fact that he's responsible to others now and he feels beholden to others, that maybe he, he feels it more acutely. Or it's more difficult to deny, really.